Thai Mongol with the, the dancers and the music. And can I have a shout out for the food, for Ruby's, because I think this food was fantastic. Really great, thank you. At Thai Mongol we remember food and the harvest and we celebrate and think of wonderful things that have happened. And it's right that we should celebrate British Tamils and the community work that you have done. And while that is a celebration, we should also remember the sacrifices that people have made for the Tamil community, for our society. And on a serious note, I particularly remember at times like these, a friend of mine who was a consultant in the NHS, Dr. Anton Sebastian Pillai. He lived in Surbiton in my constituency and became a good friend of mine over many years. And when he retired from the NHS, he thought he'd completed his service working for our wonderful NHS. But during the pandemic, he decided to come out of retirement to help. And he unfortunately caught COVID-19 and died. And so I do remember the amazing sacrifices that so many healthcare workers from the British Tamil community have given. Um, and someone gave the ultimate. And I particularly think of uh, Dr. Sebastian Pillai because he was not only an amazing servant for our NHS, he wrote a history, he was a historian. He wrote the Illustrated History of Sri Lanka, published in 2014, which explains the significant cultural historical role of Tamils in the centre of the island, in the northeast of the island of Sri Lanka. So it is right we celebrate uh, those amazing events. It's also right though that we think about what's happening in Sri Lanka today. Because while we are celebrating the harvest and some great things, there is a huge crisis in Sri Lanka. There's been a crisis, of course, with the shocking treatment of the Tamil people for decades now. But that crisis of the corrupt government of Rajapaksa and his uh, and the two brothers and their ilk has now even been acknowledged by uh, every every group, every people on the island of Sri Lanka. And um, I think it's incumbent on us not just to reflect on that, but think about how we can help. So while the new President Vikramasinghe has reached out and wants to talk to Tamil people and representatives from TNA and others, um, it's quite understandable when I talk to Tamil friends here that they don't trust President Vikramasinghe. Not just what happened you know, a decade and a half ago uh, after the Norwegian talks, but also because of their experience over, frankly, decades of not being able to trust the word from the Colombo government. And that's why, as leader of the Liberal Democrats, I want to give my voice and say that there should be international arbitration over those talks. There should be international overseeing and international support for the Tamils in those talks if President Vikramasinghe is talking in good faith to, as he ought to do, not just give the justice and the rights to the Tamil people and self-determination, but he should also, if he was a true statesman at this crisis for Sri Lanka, be recognising the amazing role the Tamil community have to play to bring an end to that economic crisis. So I hope the British government, other international governments and the Sri Lankan government will heed this call and help play a constructive part in these talks because it is a moment that could be seized with the right leadership. But I also want to talk finally about the wider role of the international community with respect to putting pressure on the Sri Lankan government to at long last do the right thing, be held to account and so on. And we've seen leadership from the Prime Minister and Foreign Secretary in Canada. The recent decision to impose sanctions on the former Prime Ministers uh, Kotabaya Rajapaksa and Mahinda Rajapaksa are uh, absolutely right. And the time for fine words has gone. They led a corrupt government that was unfair to Tamil people and unfair to everyone in Sri Lanka. And it's time we recognise that and the UK played a role in putting pressure uh, and followed the leadership of Canada on this critical issue. <laughs> There is so much more that can be said, but there's much more music and dancing to be enjoyed. So let me bring my remarks to an end by first of all saying Nandri for inviting me and for this wonderful uh, evening.
but also Thai Pongal Valtukau.